Here for it. Yep. Here for it. First of all, this one I kind of call the owner's manual. It's now on working with Yep. Good. 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 Yep. Good deal. Good deal. First of all, I'm working with a six foot leash. And unless I'm working on one stage with a jump, I don't need this much because all I'm doing is holding this end all the time. Sit. Position is important. I'm a dog trainer. He's a little out of position. He should be sitting next to me. So if I want to show off in obedience or go further, I need to work the two positions. Good, good, yes. This is the heel position. Heel, forward, heel. Good heel. Yeah, good, good, good. Heel, forward, good heel. I want to give him a chance. Look how loose I keep the leash. Heel. The leash is hanging like the letter J. Good heel, good heel. I just have to reinforce when he's in the right place. Good heel, heel. Before I turn, helps him. If he's not paying attention or not giving me eye contact, I might go forward and then heel. See how he looks at me? So I use that to get his attention like a little pole. So this is the heel position. When I want him to sit, I get real close to his head and I lift straight up. Sit. If I have to help, I call this together and touch. Sit. Good sit. He needs to be by his head and lift up, and then I put his butt so it's hanging straight. Once he's sitting, watch. Good, good, no sit. That's why my hand is right here, and I've shown you in other videos. If I don't want him moving around, he's been, let's sit anywhere, it's not a big deal. If I keep adjusting it, I'll win this battle as he grows up. Watch, good, good, yes. But if I want him to sit and I see him sitting crooked, I immediately go close to the head, a little tension up, and as soon as he sits. The big thing is, when I do get him to sit, three things I look for all the time. Can I maintain the sit with the leash over his head? Will he take food? Can I lure and get eye contact? Good, good, good. If I can't do this or he starts to move around, I better start walking. Heel. This is first thing in the morning he's a little excited. Heel. I always say heel before I turn. Watch his nose. Heel. If it turns, I say good, good. If it looks away, I go no heel. Heel. Yep, good, good. Real close to his head, sit. He goes perfect, slide it over. Watch, good, 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 yes. Now sometimes I'm using either little cubes of cheese, or this is a, I call it like a carrot stick. It's a real thin slice that he can nibble on. So, heel, if I want to teach him to come when he's called, heel. There's an exercise called call front. I put the leash in my left hand, I take out a piece of food, now I back up, I, I lure. See how low the food is? When I stop, bring it in closer. This is the front position. Watch. Good, good, yes. Now some people do a right or left finish and they do it too soon and the dog doesn't maintain this position. Good, good, yes. I'm going to do a left finish. I'm going to have him follow my left foot and this piece of food. He's going to nibble. All the way back here, turn him in. Bring him forward, sit. Watch, good, good. Yes. Heel. Sit. Now also I got a straighter sit where he didn't move so much to the side if I held the foot, foot in front of him a little bit. Play with it. Good, 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 yes. One 1,000 to 1,000 deliver. Stay means Alan's leaving. Stay. When I want him to walk with me, I start with my left foot. I want him to stay, I step with my right. Good sit, good sit, good sit. I'm not holding my hand in a fist. I don't want him to think there's food in it. I don't keep saying stay, I just say good sit. If he were to get up, it would be no sit. With a little tug, if I keep my hand here, good sit. If I think he's gonna get up, I'm saying no sit. And as soon as I get back, I get eye contact, yes. Now I never get food from the pocket. I bring it up to my chin and I get the chin in front of him. If I start giving food here, and start sitting more and more crooked. See what he's doing? He's coming in front of me. That's my lane. Heel. Don't go in my lane. Heel. Good heel. Good heel. Heel. It's called J when the leash is hanging down like this. Heel. Good heel. Heel. Good heel. Good. 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 So that's a right turn. Heel. Heel. Well, he found me in the right circle. Heel. Good heel. No. 
Now, here, good, 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 set. Yes. Okay. When I go to the left, so I use my right hand to snap, and I don't use too long to release. I want this to get tight right at the edge of my body. When I make a correction, I make it closer, and I just get a little snap. You can just hear the chain make the noise. Okay? So when I want my right hand for going forward and to the right, my left hand for sit. Also, if he starts going too fast, I'll take my left hand. How do I get in my left hand? I raise my right hand. When the leash gets here, I loosen it and I snap straight towards his tail. So if he's going too fast, I'll say no heel with a snap back. The object, before he starts to go further, I mean, I'm stopping him if he goes a little bit ahead. He's supposed to stay in a rectangle. If he's ahead of me, I can't make a left turn without tripping over my dog. Heel. Here. Boots down here so he doesn't jump. Sit. Watch. Good. 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 Yes. I should wait two seconds. Watch. Good. 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 Yes. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Deliver fast so he doesn't have to jump up to get it. When I take away. Watch. Good. 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 Yes. Here's a right finish. He's going to follow my right foot. I'm going to act like I'm walking towards the wall. My cue is putting the leash in my right hand and using his name. Four. Right. Come back here, come around behind me, give my target set. Okay. Now, watch. Good, good, yes. To go to the left and make a left circle, he's got to start next to me. I say back, and I give him a check straight back, and I put my left foot in front of both of his feet. I got to keep his head in front of my leg, and I put my feet together. And I keep stepping towards his left foot leg, in this case, Stop. Heel. Good heel. Good heel. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Back. Heel. Sit. That was a fancy 180 pivot to the left. Sit to sit. Wasn't perfect, but I'm going to try to do that now while we're moving. Heel. Good heel. Good heel. Back. Good. Good heel. When I say back, I want his front feet to stop moving. Back. Good. Heel. Good. Heel. Good, good. Every time the left rear foot moves, I'm going to say good. Here, sit, watch. Oh, 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 he won that piece of cheese. That was one of those long, skinny ones. He thinks he's a big shot now. Yep. Turn him in. You get it to sit in front of Next to you. Yes. Heel, so my right hand for going forward. Heel. Good heel. Good, good, good. My left hand, back. Okay, so we've got heel. Right 180, heel. Good heel. Back. Good, good. Don't go too fast. That's a left 180, and now here's a left about. He goes to the right, I go to the left, and ball. Heel. Here. Sit. Watch. Good, good, good. Yes. Right. Big step towards the camera. Once I get him back here, get him to this side, put my feet together, give him a target set. Yep. And now, perfecting is taking and do what we could do in a quiet place without distractions and duplicating it with distractions. That's called perfecting. Off